to give you that 1x. Now, the 4 tenths will reduce. Remember, we're in a big time now. How does 4 tenths reduce, Charlie? 2 fifths. Okay, to 2 fifths. Very good. Okay, so our answer is x equals 2 fifths. And don't forget to box your answer. There you go, Charlie. Okay. Okay, moving on here. Now we're going to look at some problems that have fractions in it. Okay. And so we'll go ahead and go to this problem here. 4 thirds x equals 9. Now, 4 thirds x is the same as 4x over 3. But I'm writing it in this format so that we keep the, uh, the number in front of the x. So it's 4 thirds x. Okay, it's a little bit easier for us to handle in this format. Okay. And so here, Charlie, this problem here, we have a fraction in front of that x. Okay. And so, and some of you have also said that, well, I do this problem this way and that way and or whatever. Okay, that's fine, but I'll do it a couple ways uh, for all of you out there that uh, have asked that. So, 4 thirds x equals 9. Now, the first way I'm going to do is using the reciprocal, which means we're going to take the reciprocal of this 4 thirds and multiply it to both sides. And what is the reciprocal of 4 thirds, Charlie? 3 fourths. Okay, it is 3 fourths. So we're going to go ahead and show this multiplying 3 fourths to both sides up here. Okay, so if we take this 3 fourths times 4 thirds, notice when you multiply reciprocals, some of you might know when you take two reciprocals and multiply them together, you're going to get a positive 1. Okay, and so 3 fourths times 4 thirds will be 1. But let's look at why that is, Charlie. Pay attention. Look up there, Charlie. I, I am. All right, so when we do this, Okay, notice we multiply both sides by 3 fourths. On the left hand side, we notice those 3's cancel out, and 3 over 3, those will become a what, Charlie? 1. I'm dividing both of those by 3. It's like saying 3 over 3 is 1. So the way we show it is we get 1 over 1. Remember when they cancel, 3 over 3 does not equal, when you cancel 3 over 3, you don't get 0, which a lot of you guys are writing out there. I don't know why. It's probably because you've been brought up on a calculator, all you calculator kids out there. Okay. You don't need a calculator for these problems. You're the big time. Anyway, the threes cancel out and you get a one over one. And the fours will cancel out, Charlie, also giving you what? One over, one over one. And what's one times one? I hope you don't have to take a calculator for one times one. One times one is one. And on the bottom you have one times one, which is one. So we end up with one divided by one. That's one. And so you have one x on the left hand side. Now the right hand side, Charlie, okay, we have a 1x on the left hand side. Now notice, 3 fourths times 9, we cannot come through that problem because mm -hmm. that 4 does not divide evenly into the 9. You'll have to see the previous lectures when we talked about kung fu math um, to, uh, to, to understand what we're talking about. You'll have to go to my website for that. Anyway, um, we have 3 fourths times 9, we have to write the 9 as a fraction. So, here we go, left hand side, we have the 1x. The right hand side we have 3 fourths times 9 over 1, right? And now how do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight, straight across, across the top and straight across, across the bottom. bottom. Okay, there we go. And so we get what? X equals 27 over 4. There you go. Don't forget to box your answer. See, isn't this fun? Ooh. All right, anyway, let's move on here. Now, let's look at uh, another type of problem where we have a fraction on both sides, okay? And one more time, I will use this reciprocal technique here, okay? Where we're trying to get the x by itself. We need to get 1x. Well, we have 3, fa three halves x there, and we need to multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 3 halves to get that 1x. Okay, Charlie, what's reciprocal of 3 halves? 2 thirds. Very good, Charlie, it's 2 thirds. So we're going to multiply both sides by 2 thirds. There you go, okay? 2 thirds. Multiply to both sides. Now, on the left-hand side, Charlie, right here, what happens to those twos? They cancel. They will cancel. And the threes? Those are cancel. They will also cancel. So the left-hand side will have 1x. The right-hand side, we will get what? Nothing reduces there. You're going to multiply straight across the top and then straight across the bottom. Ten ninths. Okay. And so what do we get, Charlie? Ten ninths. X equals ten ninths. Excellent. There we go. Don't forget to circle or box your answer or circle it, whatever you're doing. Okay. Now, the second part, part two of this uh, of this lecture, we will deal with a different technique. We're going to do the, the same problem again here, but we're
But we're going to do this technique called clearing fractions, okay? And clearing fractions, we've already talked about, that was our Kung Fu math technique. Whoa! Okay, and so you got to practice the Kung Fu, remember. So, now, to clear fractions like this, what we're going to do is we look at the lowest common denominator of all of our fractions in our equation. Not only the left-hand side, but the right-hand side, okay? We need to look at those fractions and then look at their denominators and find the lowest common denominator. Then once we find that lowest common denominator, we will multiply both sides by that lowest common denominator and we will see the fractions will disappear. They get Kung fu -ed. That's right. Okay, so let's look at this problem here. Charlie, get that problem up there. What is the lowest common denominator there? Six. It's six. Yes, it is six because both the three and the two divide evenly into six. Six is the smallest number that both three and two divide evenly to, into, and that's our lowest common denominator. So, we'll go ahead and list that for you up there, okay? And what are we going to do with that lowest common denominator, Charlie? Multiply both sides. Multiply both sides by it. Okay, so there we go. Now we have six times three halves equals six times three fifths, okay? Five now, thirds. right there, we can do some clearing fractions or kung fu. We can kung fu the fractions right out of there. Watch. Okay, Charlie, the right-hand side there, the left-hand side of our equation, we have six times two-thirds, okay? The kung fu technique is to do what, Charlie? Two goes into six, three, and three times three is nine. That's right, nine x for the left-hand side. Now, what do we get on the right-hand side, Charlie? The three, three goes into six how many times? Two times. And then two times? Five is ten. Very good, Charlie, it is ten. So, we end up with nine x equals very good. Now notice here, the fractions are gone. They got cleared or kung fu okay? And so now it's just a matter of solving for x by dividing both sides by what, Charlie? Nine. nine. By nine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and list that. There it is. Nine x equals ten over nine. And don't forget, those nines cancel out to give you a one. And one x, so we get what, Charlie? Ten, ten nines. Very good. So. That is our answer. Don't forget to box your answer. So, we will continue in the second part of this lecture with this clearing fractions technique or something I like to call Kung Fu Math. <laughs> okay, so anyway, stick around. We'll see you again a little bit later. And don't forget to do your homework. What? <laughs>